si comprehendis, non est Deus. So we're here today on this Feast of the Annunciation, and I just wanted to break out a little Latin, just to lighten everybody's day. But I think it's actually a really important phrase. Si comprehendis, non est Deus. It's from St. Augustine, and it means, if you understand him, he is not God. God is always greater than we are. Yes, he's close to us. Yes, he loves us. Yes, he's good. But he's also a mystery. We can't just put God in a box. In the book of Isaiah, God tells the prophet Isaiah, My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so far are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. And I think today on this Feast of the Annunciation, it's important to remember that the greatest saint in the history of the church, the Blessed Virgin Mary, did not understand everything either. In today's Gospel, St. Luke tells us that when the angel appeared to Mary, she was afraid. She didn't understand everything that he was telling her. A little bit later in the Gospel of Luke, when Jesus manages to lose himself in the temple for three days, Mary and Joseph ask him a very important question when they find him. They say, why did you do this? Mary says, son, why did you do this to us? Sometimes we might be tempted to ask God that same question. Lord, what are you doing? Why are you permitting this? And then Jesus says, didn't you know, Mom, that I had to be in my father's house? She didn't. In fact, St. Luke tells us she didn't understand what Jesus told her. She did not understand, but she trusted. Trust in God is not a feeling. Trust in God is a gift, and it's a decision. So it's a gift. God gives it to us in our baptism. When we're baptized, we receive the theological virtues, faith, hope, and love. Trust comes from our faith and our hope in God's already given us that gift, and he wants to keep giving us that gift. But not only is trust a gift, it's also a decision. So how do we decide to receive that gift and to respond to that gift? I wanted to propose three very simple things that I think can help us grow in our trust in God. The first is prudence. The second is prayer. The third is perseverance. Prudence, prayer, perseverance. Prudence means right reason and determining action. It's when we use our God-given reason to ask, will this action help me grow closer to God or will it push me a little bit away from God? And it's very important to ask ourselves, will this article or this book or this show or this news feed or will this podcast help me to grow in my trust for God or will it erode my trust in God? It's always important to ask that question, I think especially now, when there is so much fear around us, to ask, will this help me grow in my trust for God? So that's prudence. Prayer. Just like Mary, bring everything to God. When Mary was afraid, she pondered, which means that she invited the Lord into that fear. She didn't try to push the fear away. She didn't deny that she was afraid. She opened it up to God. She invited him into that. So that's prayer. And then perseverance. God's given each one of us certain tasks, certain duties, based on our state in life as working professionals, as spouses, as parents, as priests, whatever it is. He's given us certain duties. He asks us just to faithfully fulfill those out of love for him. And every time that we fulfill the duties that God's given us, it's actually a huge act of trust. We're saying, Lord, I might not see the fruits right away, but I believe that you are acting through this. So prudence, prayer, and perseverance. Three ways that can help us grow in our trust for God, who is always a gift and always a mystery. God bless you.